Hi, Mike Violette with EspressoEngineering.tv. And Graham Kilshaw with Interference Technology. Graham, we're here at the Santa Clara, California IEEE EMC Symposium, and uh, we're here in the heart of Silicon Valley. Plenty of, plenty of innovation here. Absolutely. We're here in Santa Clara, connected to San Jose. We're just 40 miles outside of San Francisco, if you know your geography. Here in the Bay Area, this is one of the big centers of U.S. innovation. And Mike, I think you know a little of the history of this area, right? Well, we bet, you know, being a, a child of the electronics age, you know, you've got Apple Computer here that started in Cupertino, you got Cisco, you got Hewlett Packard, Dave and Bill's excellent adventure. Right. You know, they built their first audio oscillator, the 200A, in their garage. Right. You know, Another the, great American garage company story, right? A great American brand. Yeah. And they sold their first product, uh, do you know who? I don't know. Uh, Walt Disney World. No kidding. Yeah, Disneyland. Of course, they had to make special effects, and so the audio sure. oscillator sure. to create sound effects and so uh, see, forth. See, that was innovations. one of my first employers, and I can remember going around the Buena Vista studio, seeing a lot of that old equipment. There you go. Going back to the 30s and 40s and 50s, it was amazing. So you feel the roots here. You do. You also see the tree growing. I mean, there's innovators in the industry, and many of them are here at the symposium. That's Name true. That's true. Um, over the last year or so, we've noticed quite a bit of innovation here in the relatively smaller EMC industry. And uh, even though it's a smaller show this year, uh, with there being two shows going on, one here and one later in the year in Dresden, here in Santa Clara you're going to see quite a bit of that innovation. And I can just show you just a couple of them. Uh, ETS Lindgren has this new M field, a sort of compact all-in-one uh, so in integrated, inter integrated design and field generator, all in I believe one. it is. Yeah. AR's got a new multi-tone tester that's been out a little bit while, but that's, that's quite innovative as well. That gets the testing done a heck of a lot faster. Even on the component side, we've got folks like Schurta, who are putting out a new line of uh, three-phase filters. Um, uh, a German company, Aronia, I forget what it is, but if you go on our website, emclive2015.com, EMC you'll see it, because there is uh, a new contest going on in the industry starting on April 1st. It's called EMC Product of the Year. And this is part of the new EMC Live event, which is going on annually. It's free for any company that has an innovation in the industry to enter. So get on over to emclive2015.com. Pull out your best innovation of the last 12 months or 18 months, and let's see it. So this and is the new stuff. This, this is, is this all is the brand new stuff. Out, yeah. You're going to see it there at EMC Product of the Year. And I don't want to forget that. French company as well, Artfi. Art, Artfi, Advanced Real-Time Field Imaging. I'm glad you could remember it. They <laughs> well, have this new SAR test equipment that reduces testing from weeks down to magnitude, minutes and hours. It's unbelievable. The Great art, innovation. Go the, check it out. The Art Man is a fully vectorized probe array that does SAR testing in a matter of seconds, right. literally. So you check and, that out. And some of that innovation's here at the symposium too, right, Mike? Uh, there's, this show is always changing. It's a dynamic uh, format for uh, professionals. Uh, uh, we've got some standard, old, uh, the, the, the fundamental icons of the industry mm -hmm. here, such as ETS, Linger, and AR, you mentioned them. And we've got uh, new companies coming in all the time. We have the young professionals now coming into our, that. our industry, and I'm going to be talking with Carolyn Chan, who's the, who's the uh, chair of this show in a few minutes, and we're going to get an update from her. So she's been championing the youngsters. We also have a little bit of audio in the back. Someone's putting up their booth. You can see yeah, we're not set up. Somebody's innovating anyway. right behind us right now as we speak. So we're also looking forward to uh, launching emctv.tv, where we're going to be highlighting some of the uh, uh, innovators here at the show. So check it out, yeah. emctv.tv. This is an EMC is Society uh, um, uh, project to uh, put more contact and more content on the right. web. So look forward to that. So I think as the community of EMC evolves, we also have to look at ways in which we connect uh, uh, manufacturers, brands, suppliers, engineers, consultants, educators, in, which includes this symposium, but also outside of it. And I think EMC TV is a, a really great example of that. It's, it's kind of the way the, 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 the future of it, I think, is going to go, Mike. And we're going to have a little fun with it, too. And, and speaking of fun, somebody's going to be popping uh, some champagne tomorrow because my, my dear Brit friend here, his birthday's tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, hi, how ironic. Can It'll be get, champagne in the Guinness. Yeah? Can you get into an Irish pub on your birthday? Well, I'll try to. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so join us here uh, at the IEEE EMC Symposium, Mike Violet, Espresso Engineering.
and Graham Kilshaw from Interference Technology. Have a good week. Thanks.